Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Bessarabia's Ours of Hearts of Iron 4 as Romania. And we're gearing up to get Bessarabia back. I'm, I'm, I don't like this hesitation. I think we gotta get it back. We gotta kick the butts of the Russians. And we're gonna just do it. Retake core state. Baconia, Bessarabia. And we're gonna, yeah. And that's only gonna take 10 days to forge. And then we're gonna kick their butts. And it's the only way that I can see uh, to do this. Uh, Germany is finishing up its uh, war, annoying war with Denmark. So they've only, they've only occupied like two or three divisions up there. I think we're ready for war. Uh, am I happy with the situation? No, I think um, things have gone really, really bad. Uh, look at how much land Russia got just from its invasion of Poland. Look at how much was taken from Germany in terms of their just incompetence uh, in the war with France. So Germany, who should be our main backer here, has been remarkably incompetent. Uh, we've done well in North Africa with our little flank maneuver into Alexandria. And uh, the Italians are really, really strong in this game, so that's good. The Japanese are really, really strong in this game. That's good. But we're going to have to carry uh, Germany on our backs. Uh, through this war against um, Russia. So, let's get ready. Alright, so you're done here. I'm going to take this guy, and he's going to be our commander of the super offensive front that is just going to run here. It's going to be the Basarabia front. Uh, wait, cancel those orders. And you're, he's going to be charged with spearheading straight to Kiev. Ah, sometimes the drawing tool is chaotic. So he's going to be charged with that. The other guy, and I'm going to equip him with the best divisions for that. Oh, crap. His, oh, I didn't realize that I'd sent him to North Africa with such inexperienced units. The guys got some decent experience though while they were there. Okay, we're done justifying. We have an available war goal. All right. Limited conscription. We go to extensive conscription. We don't have to quite yet, though. I'm going to take every second we can before we take that penalty. Um, and I'm going to wait for this guy to ship his troops back over. And get in position. Oh, wait. How long does our claim last for, though? That's worth checking. Uh, I think it must last for a very long time because... Wait. Have I already lost it? What? We cannot declare where we have divisions in their territory. Where? Where? This is puzzling. Hmm. There? 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 There. I don't have divisions in Russian territory. The game lies. Is that Russian? Oh, it is. How are my units there? Oh, because we have military access. Okay. Um, state owner. Yeah, okay. And is that also state owned by Russia? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so I need to remove my cancel my military access from Russia once those troops get back. And you, I've got to cancel. Fuck, no, nah, he's just going to put his units back there. You're an idiot. I want to declare war on Russia. Get your troops out. Get your troops out. I think I found a bug. I don't know how this is happening because, look, at those are German troops. So I don't think I can declare war on Russia because I've got troops in Russia. But that land is showing on my game screen as, oh no, okay, it'll work now. Uh, as long as it's not my troops, they must have a different organization with them. So, oh, fuck it, YOLO. Retake core states, potential enemies, call allies. Oh, here we go, guys, here we go. Front light, oh, I'm gonna ruin my entrenchment bonus because of this stupid bug as well. Oh, that makes me unhappy. I should not have had to ruin mine by moving those troops out of there, but I think it was pretty clear that I had troops in there. 
No, you do not have to move your troops there. That's not the front I want you to take. You are the front. Your front is here. Do, 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 do. There. I don't. There we go. And this guy is gonna. Wait, can, I... can he not get back? I don't think he can get back. Hmm. I know. I got an idea. Ask. They won't accept. Why not? Because they don't like us. Okay. Uh, will you accept, Iraq? No, they're all non aligned. Non aligned. So. Italy controls this. Can I not? Hmm. I don't think we control um, the sea here, so we can't go back. Oh well. So I've got divisions trapped down here now. That's not what I wanted. I guess we can just march south with these guys. But it's a lot of divisions. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. You guys, don't go south. I don't want you to go south. Rejoin this guy. And... Merge together. I don't know whether we've got a better fleet than Russians, but that's convoy raiding, although I doubt there's much point to it. Uh, I'm short of stuff because we're now at war with Russia. I have a bad feeling about this, even though it looks initially like we're doing pretty okay over here. I'm really annoyed that I lost my fortification bonus. Really, really, really unhappy. Uh, that must have been a bug. I can't see how it isn't a bug because my men think that the front line with Russia is already inside Russian territory, which of course can't be the case because that's not how front lines work. Um, so... I would like to know how that is a thing. And as our front line, whoa, how we do it? Uh oh. I don't like managing huge fronts like this. I I don't like this at all. And I don't like the fact that we don't have control over the sea, so that I can't get my troops home. I swear the Italian Navy is just... Who does have control, though? Because I should be able to... Why can't I do that? Enemies cannot attack... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I just want you to go... Over here. Unable to transport to target. Do I need to build transports? Am I out of naval transports? Is that... Oh, yes, that's it. Out of naval transports. You, stop building that. Build... Wait, is it... Convoys can be used for trade of goods... Oh, so to ferry troops. Yes, I'm out of convoys. That's what I'm out of. God damn it, I need to pay more attention. To... Ah! Yes. Ah, it's so stupid. I, ha I hadn't realized that the British had, you know, bombed out on my convoys. That makes sense now. That is really stupid of me. Um, not paying attention to how many convoys I have. I thought we had control of the sea. It makes more sense now. Okay. Um, hopefully now we'll have some convoys. Because that would explain why, you know, we're running out of resources. Is me not paying attention to convoys. Four ferrying troops for trade and supply. Use need. Okay. No, it says we've got zero. We have 19 convoys. Used a total of 19. We need 47. Oh, fuck. I knew those dockyards were good for something. That's a big mistake. Lesson learned. Don't ignore your convoys. Okay, so how does he feel about the situation? Large river crossing. Division still preparing. Some divisions not in position. Um, I think we can... I'm going to let the war kind of sit at the front before I push because I want the Germans to get their troops over here. Uh, and the Italians as well. Though I think the Italians are going to be bogged down in North Africa forever. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't know whether I can... Oh, okay. Convoys build pretty damn quick. So we'll, we'll, we'll recover on that front, but... Oh, the Germans are pushing in with our help. Huh. Good job, Germany. 
I don't even need to activate my plan. I can just let my troops assist the Germans, which may be a better idea. But let's put you on... Oh, the encirclement. Okay, can we get... This looks, this looks ultra risky, Germany. Oh, this is not good. I don't like that at all right there. Hmm. Forty-two support weapons. I love how this battle up here isn't even really involving the Germans. It's uh, one Venezuelan. Oh, the Venezuelans are on our side. That's cool. I guess. I mean, it's as cool as being a fascist can be, really. I mean, it's beneficial to me. I don't, I don't really support the choice. Um. Wait. No, do your do your thing. I don't know what to do. It says we can't move forward here because we'll overload that square. But I think, what happens if we just attack through? Oh, we win. Okay. Yeah, good job. Okay, they lose there. Don't attack there, then. Don't attack there. Push through there. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe... I almost, I'm so scared to micromanage this front because I don't want to get flanked. And it's so hard to manage the number of troops myself. <laughs> this looks all right. I think we're going to win this and at this rate if Japan doesn't do anything absolutely freaking stupid and draw the United States into the war I think we might be all right oh please Romanian reclamation of Bukovonia yes why didn't I do that immediately there we go Russia you want one more front Russia we'll give you another front we'll give you another front uh was that good was that a good thing for me to do though because I called them in and now yeah, that'll be fine. They have nothing to do over here besides... Oh, they're doing pretty well against the British and these Americans. But they're moving their troops up. I think it's fine. I need their help anyways. Okay, Germany wants to help in our war effort. Okay. Wait, Germany wasn't in the war before. I didn't call him in. Oh, so I was winning this on my own, more or less. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, this is gonna go real good now. Russia's weak. All right, Russia's really weak then. Um, I think they might have gotten screwed over by taking that territory from Poland too early and um, just had their momentum offset because it takes Russia so long to get going and having to do something like actually conquer Poland early game puts a big spanner in the works for them. Uh, Mr. Dude down here, you have free convoys, so you get your butt back over to here to help with the war effort. And using that one convoy ship to transport them. And now we're initiating the attack. Doesn't look so good at the start. Uh, we're running low on manpower. I don't want to go below a hundred, so we're going to go to... Gotta make sure I click the right one. Uh, extensive conscription. Could go all the way to service by but that really hits our output, so no, we're going extensive conscription. Crap, that only gets us back up to 200k. Ouch. So this is why I saved all that manpower. Uh, we're going to need to stop producing so many damn units then. Uh, you. 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 Because we're, we're just not going to have the manpower to field them. And that's not going to help. We'll be on scraping the barrel before you can say hello at the bottom of the barrel. Um, but I, I count this Let's Play a win as long as we get Bessarabia back from Russia. Um, what we do after that in terms of the long-term war against uh, the Allies is a separate issue. Ooh, look at that. Look. Sang Ching, which is owned by. Wait, are they? What are they? Are they? 
on the side of the fascists? They are common turn. So is Russia at war with Britain? And I've missed something? Oh my god. The Soviet... How, how did this happen? Take Slanish... Oh my good god. This is so good. This is... I, I, how did I not realize this? So the Soviet Union has been at war since the war with Poland with the Allies. So there's never going to be a grand war where I've got Russia and America on both sides of me. This is, this is, you know, it's Christmas morning. We're going to take Russia. Awesome. I, I kind of want to micromanage this. I keep whining about it, but it's just, the numbers are so huge that if you screw up, I just lose like 20 divisions and then I want to cry. Whereas the AI isn't optimal, but it is safe. Even when you put it on its most aggressive settings. So yeah, we've got two wars now. And Russia is <laughs> against Britain. So that's just... That's great. Look at this. It's gonna... And that means when America goes into the war, they're straight into a war against Russia. It's great. Um, we're slowing down a bit here, but I think it's because our troops have taken... Oh, it's because of bad supply. Should I have increased the infrastructure? I think the infrastructure was, a, you know, seven. Kind of standard Central European. The Germans are definitely having more luck than we are. I'm actually going to halt the offensive for now because the troops look tired. And I think we can resume it when they're better prepared. You... Oh, you're still sat there, aren't you? Convoys. Mm. Still need to make another, like, 15 before we can even get these troops back. They should probably just be fighting the British here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. What am I doing? Yeah, there's... Oh, okay. Ah, keep them in North Africa. It looks like they could use the support. So, let's put that as their front line. Wait, you gonna go anywhere? Oh, did I accidentally give him two front lines? I Sometimes this... Uh, the AI in this game is a blessing and a curse. Sometimes it really saves you from doing things that you otherwise wouldn't want to do, and sometimes it adds, like, this planning tool can be just really cumbersome. I expect, like, there'll be loads of interface improvements. There always are with Paradox games. Oh, nice little encirclement there. One Soviet division down. Another 400 to go. Extra research slots. Get on there. Now, uh, Mountain Division number two, because we do use Mountain Divisions. We had a few. That was probably a bad choice, actually. We're going to take a hit to our factory soon, because we're going to run out of manpower. Um... I'm going to cancel these now because I can't see us. Um, I can't see us really being able to train much more with the amount of uh, manpower we're going to need. We'll run out of manpower by 19... We'll, we'll strip our country dry of people um, by the end of the war with the amount of divisions we have now. By 1946, we'll, we're going to be scraping the barrel. Uh, if we manage to end a war with Russia early on and just take over the whole place, that'll give us a boost. But I think it, the, with the penalties, it's still not all that much. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's a good thing we kept this army down here, actually. They're getting uh, attacked. They're being invaded by the British Raj in Poland in North Africa. Meanwhile, the British Raj is being eaten alive by communist China. Okay, this has turned into a weird game. How did I miss that Britain was at war with Russia for that long? That's that's really something. I'm taking some really annoying attrition. Oh, oh, look at the Germans. They're planning a, a very a little clever naval invasion of Sevastopol. 
open up a new front. Oh crap. That's not good at all, really. Hmm. Tiny British D-Day. I'm sure the Germans have it. Uh-oh. This is starting to look less distinctly good on the Russian front. Please, Germany. Italy, there's no reason to sit 11 divisions there for planning a naval invasion. You could have way more divisions up here attacking. Hmm. I have no idea why they want it. I mean, I know because they don't want to increase the supply limit up here any more than they already have, which is going to cause me problems. Oh, and here comes the Russian attack. I shouldn't have attacked. My men are tired. They're going to push back hard, but I think the Russians will eventually break them up. I'm sorry, the Germans will eventually break them up here, and I'll be all right. Wait, what are you doing? You're not... Oh! Okay, you're the new troops. I wonder where they'd gone. That's weird. Looks like he's doing all right, though. That's cool. I think the Russians are going to win. They're going to push us back a little bit up here, but hopefully we can draw enough of their attention so that Germany can push through here. But Germany isn't. Germany isn't attacking. Uh, and I think one of the reasons why is that they're now concerned by this. And that is very, very, very concerning. Italy, what are you doing? Italy is doing what they do best, which is nothing. They are sitting here with 24 divisions trying to navally invade Sevastopol. Is Germany really going to collapse? Germany is really going to collapse at this rate. That's the whole British army. I would have thought that AI Germany would have had naval and air superiority so that this kind of thing couldn't happen. And you would also think that maybe the British would be a little bit more distracted by Russia, but... Oh, Germany, you make me sad. Meanwhile, it looks like the front has stabilized a bit for us over here. So that's good. Where is he at? Estimated planned value. Some division is not in Some division is still preparing. How short are we on? Oh my god, this is out of control. And I don't have the uh, convoys to, uh, to send up my forces to help out. And Germany, I don't think, is going to pull back. Italy has, like, navies that sit in ports and are at full HP, not patrolling. And they... Are they going to be able to contain this? It doesn't look like it to me. Oh god, this is bad. What I don't understand is, let's count how few divisions Germany has. That's 16 and 10 versus 23 British divisions that have already landed. 45 on the Russian front. God knows how many Russian divisions. I've got 20, 30, 40, 13. I, I swear my division count can't be that much lower than uh, lower than um, Germany's. That is crazy, Germany. And I know their divisions are higher quality and stuff, but they still this strike you as uh, not the fearsome Axis war machine that they really ought to have been. I mean, can I reinitiate this plan? No, it's a, it'll be a slaughter. Uh, am I, do I have too big a front? Because it seems like a lot of guys are being ferried back and forth. 
more than they should be. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, good job, Germany. Good job. You did something good for a change. You got Turkey in the war. Uh, speaking of allies, potential allies, Ireland is 50% fascist. Oh, cool, cool. So when they go fascist, that's that's going to be good. I'm going to leave, I think... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call this video here because the next episode is going to be, well, hoping and praying that we can begin to push into Russia and really hoping that this... Um, this fiasco over here does not continue because if America were to join the war right now that, that, would, that kind of thing ends the game that kind of thing may end the game anyways and I just can't afford to pull back a bunch of troops from here and send them over there when I'm when I'm trying to fight the Russians and I can't get these guys over there because they, they have their own thing they're going to take North Africa this is just you know Romania is not supposed to have to put Germany on its back and that's definitely I mean I whew. come on Germany show me what you got you can do it alright I'm gonna leave this video here uh, if you've enjoyed watching uh, please like and subscribe below and uh, I'll see you guys next round